Hi there, my name is John Hodgson and I am the art director at uh, Cubicle 7 Entertainment Limited. Just taking delivery of a parcel. Regular viewers of our videos will know what this means. Something exciting has been delivered. first print copy of the Lone Wolf Adventure Game. Right, let's just pop that down there. Make sure we're nicely in focus. Let's move these other copies out of the way. So nobody has seen one of these in real life on, at Cubicle 7. Obviously the printers have seen them before, but we haven't. Get the shrink wrap off. Try not to make a mess of the box in doing that. Okay, it's a nice gloss finish box this time. That is pretty cool. So yeah, quite a, that's quite nice, isn't it? Yep, looking good. Get ready for the greatest adventure of your life. Cool. So let's open up and see what we've got in here. Okay, so straight in the lid, you can see that's the number picking table inside the lid. All right. So straight away on top. You have this gatefold, get ready for the greatest adventure of your life. Read this first. Okay, and that opens up, tells us all about the Lone Wolf Adventure game. Summary of the rules on the back. Great. This gives us a summary of all the contents. Great. Okay, let's put that in there. And then we've got, uh, these are pre-generated characters, so this is Bright Shield. If you open it up, that's his character sheet there. This is uh, matte paper so that you can write on it, because that's a character sheet you'll want to write on. Um, and on the front there, so we've got the full body portrait. We've got who's Bright Shield. As Bright Shield, you'll take on the role of a powerful Kai warrior, one with great skill in battle. And why pick Bright Shield? So, when you first open this up, there are six pre-gens that your players can choose from. So everyone gets some bits straight away to be looking at and reading. Looking good. Uh, yep, yeah, that's cool. So this is the basic character sheet on the front. And then on the back, you've got the advanced character sheet for later in the game when you've mastered the rules. Okay, then straight into the books. So the Book of Kai Legends. Now this gives you uh, a bunch of adventures that you can start playing straight away from zero. You've got your characters and the read this first sheet will direct you straight here. Oh, this looks marvellous. Loads of advice on how to run your first adventure and how to play your first role-playing game adventure. It starts off very, very simply and it builds builds in complexity as you go. Oh yeah, this looks great. We put some useful stuff on the back of each of these books so you can use them. those will be references for when you're playing the game. Just grab the back of the book. So that's the most basic one there. Okay, and then we've got, okay, so the books will be alternate ways round so that they stack nice and neatly. Book of Kai Training. Okay. So that's got the summary of how to create your own Kai Lord on the back. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, this is all looking great. Stuff. 
So in the in the uh, Lone Wolf Adventure game, if you've not seen the PDFs, I mean, this video is primarily for our backers so that they can see it straight away. Um, it was successfully funded on Kickstarter. Um, but the basics of it are that every single page has these uh, sections at the bottom. I say every single page and then turn to a page that doesn't. Almost every single page has these little pieces of extra advice at the bottom of the page to help guide you through what a role-playing game is, how to play it, tips for running it, and so on. It's geared primarily at, well, initially at beginners, but it builds through the set into a complete role-playing game. There we go, the Kai Wisdom. Great, how to resolve a basic combat, covered on the back. Okay, there's a weapon section. Cool, cool, cool. I'm probably not giving the best description of uh, everything to do with the Lone Wolf Adventure game because I'm just really excited to see it in print and I'm kind of checking through as I'm waffling on. I'm checking through to make it all look, make sure it all looks really cool. And it does. Great stuff. So you've got those three books. You've got those character sheets, you've got the read it first. Here's some information about uh, our other games, role-playing games and card games. Right, and now we've got various handouts. Combat results table. How to resolve a basic combat. We've got the equipment list. Oh, yeah, this is looking great. We've got the map of Summerland. And then a little bit more zoomed out map there. Cool, cool. And then we've got a whole bunch of blank carrot sheets for me to use. And looking good. Again, that's on the uh, matte paper, so this you can see the kind of difference between gloss and matte. But the colours are extremely vivid on the uh, the maps. Uh, Francesco Mattioli is the map maker of these, and he uses really strong colour. But you can just see the difference. The matte paper, so you can they're actually fit for purpose, and you can write on them. Okay, so you get a bunch of those, and then oh, cool, cool, cool. This is something I'm very excited to see. This is all the counters game. Awesome. So will we punch some of these out? I always love to punch these things out. I kind of want to keep my set, but hey, I'm going to play it with my kids straight away. So let's punch a couple of these out. I want to do it carefully because I don't want to rip my sheet. Let's just put two of those out. So you can see we've got our oops pre-generated characters on that. Oh yeah, we've got a handy spacer there. This piece of cardboard, you can take that out, and now everything will fit back in the box brilliantly. Now, when you need to pick a number, um, as part of the history of Lone Wolf as a game in the game books, uh, there was a sheet in every single page in every single book where you uh, shut your eyes and put your finger or a pencil on a square, and that generated a random number. Well, in this game, you take one of these, flip it in, the little arrow points to the number that you've got there. So that's a nine, that's a three. Now we tested this extensively with the mock-up that we had, but this is the first time we've, it's being tested in real life. Oh, that's an edge case there. Oh, that's a seven. That was my, my concern. Probably my only concern about the physical product was just how well this would work, but I think that works very nicely indeed. Yep, great. I'm very pleased with that. Okay, so. And you get, of course, there's the one in the lid there, and the one in the tray. And the GM gets a bunch, so if he's rolling for a bunch of adversaries all at the same time, he can just fling a fistful of these in and generate a whole bunch of numbers very quickly. Good stuff. Yeah, that all works. Good job. Awesome. So that's the quickest of run-throughs of the actual physical product. Um, this is now on its way to the US and then from there once it's made it to the US it will a bunch bunch more of the a bunch of the stock will head on to the UK and we will have some copies uh, our backers can collect it at Gen Con and Joe Diva himself the uh, creator of Magnum and he's going to be with us at Gen Con awesome so let's see if we can put this all back in 
character sheets back in. Combat results table. Yeah, this is all looking pretty fine. Now let's put it back in. Let's not do the flipping round thing just to see how it all fits in. I think we're going to be completely safe because that sheet of cardboard was quite thick. So we should have plenty of room to put everything in. Oh, look at that. Do you know what? That is a nice fit. I'll put our sheet in there. And there we go. Great stuff. Oh, I am very happy with how that's turned out. And as ever, a huge thank you to our backers. So this game um, is going to go into stores. Uh, once the backers have got their copies, they'll be the first people to get them. And then people that have pre-ordered it on our web store or at their friendly local game store, uh, they'll get their copies and then it will go into general retail and it sells for $30, 20 pounds, which is a, an amazing price for that package. Uh, we wanted to make, this is why we went to Kickstarter with this idea, because we wanted to make a box set that would come in at a, a high level of production quality, which, you know, Cubicle 7, we're known for that, but would also be in a, an affordable price for new players. And something that retailers, you know, we, we're really keen on supporting our retailers, and we wanted them to have a product that when someone comes in and wants to know about role-playing games, they can be handed uh, a really beginner-friendly introductory product that will guide them through what a role-playing game is, right up to playing a proper game. It's not a stripped-down game, it's not a demo game, it's not a sort of hobbled version of a bigger game. It is a full game that takes you from nothing to a full role-playing game experience. So cool. There we go. The Lone Wolf Adventure Game. Nice one. So a huge thank you to our backers. Look what we made.